Hello everyone, welcome to KenHub, this is João and I'm very excited to do another tutorial for you guys where we're going to be talking about the radial muscles of the forearm. Now these are a group or a set of muscles that you can find on the forearm as you can see here on this image on your left. And here keep in mind that we only have two muscles showing, two of the radial muscles that we're going to be discussing because technically there are three radial muscles that you have to know. Now, these muscles are found on the lateral portion of the forearm, as you can also see here on this image. And the other muscle, that, the third muscle that is not present here, but I will show you later on on this tutorial, can be seen a bit better from the interior view. Now, here you have a dorsal view or a posterior view of the forearm where you can see the other ones a little bit better. Now, also important to mention that these muscles are inserting, or sorry, originating somewhere from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. And they go all the way to attach somewhere on your wrist, as you can see here. And on this tutorial, I'm going to do the job of explaining to you the origins, insertions, and innervation of these muscles. Now, moving on, what I want to briefly say as well is that if you look at your forearm, you can easily palpate these muscles because their bellies and tendons lie quite superficially. Let me now quickly list before we go on and talk about these muscles, the three muscles or the three radial muscles, and these are the brachioradialis, the one that is not seen here right now, and the other two that you can see here are the extensor carpi radialis longus. And the final one that we're going to talk about is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Now let's talk about the very first one on the list, the brachioradialis. This muscle is a powerful muscle, or relatively powerful, that is mainly responsible for the lateral contour of the elbow and the forearm. And you can clearly see here on this portion here, on this image, where it's highlighted in green, and you can see that it's defining this portion or the lateral portion of the forearm. Now, in terms of origin of this muscle, as I mentioned before, it's going to come from the lateral portion of the, the humerus, more specifically, the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus. Now, write this down. This is also very important that this muscle is going to originate somewhere between the brachio or the brachialis muscle and the lateral head of the triceps brachii muscle. Write this down. That might be important note for your exam as well. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.